Someone once uh, said, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. Uh, some of us have an extremely perfectionist uh, personality. Uh, a lot of us, we would say we are our own worst critic. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be Jesus. Can I just say that? It's okay to not be Jesus. As we go along in the Gospel of John, uh, we hear about this guy named John the Baptist. John the Baptist, some of you have heard about him. Right? In his mother's womb, he was a miraculous birth. Not as much as Jesus' birth, but miraculous birth. John's mom uh, sees Jesus' mom. John is in his mom. Jesus is in his mom. And John the Baptist, the baby John, leaps in the womb in the presence of Jesus inside his mother's womb. All of a sudden, John shows up on the scene doing incredible things. Right? This is Jesus' big cousin. Right? And people are saying, John, are you Jesus? Right? Something amazing is happening through you, John. You know what John says? I am not. I am not. And then when he sees Jesus, he says, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Uh, here's what John was saying. I am not, but I know I am. I know I am, and I am not. Would you say that? I am not. I am not. It's okay to not be okay. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves, and sometimes it's a, a really uh, twisted way to where we want people to believe in us. We want people to think that we have all the answers. Right? And certainly God uses us. There's no doubt about it. He uses us. Right? Certainly there's something inside of us to where we know imperfections. Right? What do we do with that? We confess it. Right? We, we receive mercy and grace, but to know I am not, it's okay to know that you are not, and it's so good to point people to the one who is. Point people to the one who is, and that is Jesus. It's okay to not be okay. Uh, John the Baptist, some of us just think this guy was so incredible. As you go through his life, you see him actually in prison, about to get his head cut off. And he sends his disciples to Jesus' disciples and to Jesus and G John's disciples ask Jesus, Jesus, are you really the one? Are you really the one or should I expect another? He confesses to Jesus, I have some doubts right now. Are you really the one? I'm about to get my head cut off right now. I'm not okay, Jesus. Are you sure you're the one? And then Jesus says, tell John, yes, I am. Tell John, yes, I am. I love what Jesus says later on in the Gospel of John. In this world, you're going to have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome this world. I am the great. I am. I was. I am. And I will always be. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay that you're not Jesus. You're not Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being Jesus. May God increase our faith in Him in the midst of our own imperfections, in the midst of our own criticism. Right, in the midst of our self that wants to elevate ourselves, may we always be okay with saying, I am not. I am not, but I do know. I do know the great I am, and his name is Jesus. Let me introduce you to Jesus. Amen.